Here is a quick demo of a laser power meter that I built in a mini disk case. Inside there is an Arduino, a small display, a coin cell battery, and on the back side, under the protective cover, a photodiode, which will measure the light intensity. If I turn it on, it will immediately start measuring the current produced by the photodiode, which is proportional to light intensity. Currently, it's at near zero. I'll show you how it works with my trusty MZR90. Uh, let me first put it in service mode by entering the Konami code. And there it is. I will be moving around the service menu uh, with a remote, uh, usually off screen. Uh, let's enter the manual mode and go to laser settings. It takes me a little while to fumble my way through the menu to where I want to be, but eventually here we are. The laser is actually now on, although you cannot see it. Even at the highest setting, it's only a very dim red. That's because the laser is actually 780 nanometers, which would be infrared. Still, you shouldn't stare into it. I am trying to see if I can catch the dim light of the laser on camera, but it's not really showing at all. You'll just have to trust me on that one. Uh, also in the service menu you can actually move the optical pickup left and right using forward and backward keys. Uh, let's actually test the meter. I'll pop it in and move the optical pickup across the photodiode. The photodiode is taking 8 measurements a second, which should be enough to catch the moment when the lens of the laser passes right over it. Uh, there are actually three power levels. One is for reading pre-recorded MDs, one is for reading recordable MDs, and one is for writing. Here I will test for recordable read value, which should be around 170. That should do it. Now let me take the meter out and display the highest measured value. And... There it is, 167. Thanks for watching.